so happy to see you all as you all remember we have just two classes left before the final presentation today tomorrow the day after tomorrow the entire class will be just for presentations because everybody will take at least 10 minutes to present because you are not just showing the slides but you're commenting as well what you have done what was your inspiration what was your haute couture techniques research uh, what you decided to change in terms of haute couture techniques and what you decided to bring new to the uh, fashion collection so you will have to comment and you will need to explain why you designed it like this why you chose these certain techniques etc so um please make sure you'll be on time with all that by today you should have normally finished all the uh, fashion silhouettes so that right now you can work on the designs directly but just to explain why we take so much time and so much attention to the silhouettes in this class although it's not a fashion figure drawing class it's a fashion design collection but design is something that you can do based on your sense of fashion okay design is based on your creativity but me as a professor here my task is to elevate your work so that it will look more professional okay i cannot elevate your sense of style this you should have developed yourself you see so i cannot tell you this is fashionable this is not fashionable because everybody have their own taste right you have your own vision of proportions you have your own culture you have your own ideas so i cannot influence that and i really don't want because you are all unique as you are so and within your culture you are you know you have a complete understanding of your uh, nationality of the way people dress of the way people like look um, look for inspiration and etc but my task as a professor here is to elevate your professional portfolio so that the designs that you will be drawing on the models will look actually good okay so that's why we're talking about anatomy that's why we're talking about bones muscles we're talking about proportions because on a better body your designs will look like a thousand times better okay that's why it is really important for me to judge the way you draw the silhouettes because it is extremely easy to download from the internet and just you know sketch a quick flat dress on top of that and believe me believe me that kind of sketches will not have the soul they will not have um, your personal touch they will not have uh your attitude towards your work they will be just soulless you know bland as everybody have and uh, your task is to express your creativity through your designs to express your sense of style your sense of proportions so that is the priority of the class that's why for the final presentation i will be judging mostly not the way you design not your style of design but i will be more judging the way you have done the silhouette the, the way you organized everything in one style that it overall looks good so i will not judge the style of your designs but i will judge the complete um topic of the collection if it looks relevant because sometimes people design one dress and then the second or third or tenth they look completely different like from different collections so the idea is to to combine those designs designs into a unity into one um, well-organized collection okay so that is the key points for the presentation so for the design part you don't really need to uh, ask me oh should i move this flower to the right or to the left or make the short the skirts shorter or longer this is up to you because right now you are showing me your creativity and your sense of style but my task is to let you know if something is like completely wrong 
in terms of design or if the silhouette you have designed has for example a broken bone right or a wrong proportion that is why if you still have something that you want me to check up before we will proceed to the final presentation you can go ahead and send it to me to the group chat so we will look together i click on this and i click oops yeah i click and then we see the disc so i can choose which shade i want to create the shadow with so we have this uh, kind of like dark gray and it appears here this is the exact shade and i will do it in a slightly darker tone than that because the color we selected on the dress it is the middle tone and we need the same shade but darker so as i selected that you can save it somewhere here in case you need this color again or come back to the color again and this is the shade so it looks really nice in terms of the shadow and i will increase a little bit opacity yeah so now on this layer your task will be to add the shadow and add the volume to the silhouette because she has volume So we can add the volume on the sides. You see why opacity is important. We, if we will not use it in a transparent way, we will just completely cover um, the texture. That is why we need to use an opacity so on the waist it will be darker and on the sides as well then we will need to create a shade under the knees because if the knees are bent they will create extra shade below them And then sometimes we have a little bit of shadow here and under the chest, of course. Then if you think, for example, you did something too sharp, you can always use the finger tool, you see, and you can um, go ahead and soften the areas where you think you did the shadow too strongly or too sharp. Then you can blend it in and it will not uh, distort the uh, texture underneath. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And if you think that, for example, the shade is not strong enough, which I do believe it's like barely visible right now. I can take this tone again and make it even more darker, still staying on the same layer and then going and doing it again. So adding the shadows I would add some shadow here as well under the knees under the chest and the edges here because of the armpits and deltoids we will have a little shade and actually under the chest here we will have a bit darker as well so then you can take the finger tool and blend in your new shadow
you don't have to blend in everything perfectly somewhere could be more sharp somewhere could be softer like this it will look more natural Blend this in a bit better. Mm -hmm. And now you see that it does look like a 3D shape. We can do more volume. So how we will do that? Let's click on that tool again. We take the middle tone. And this time we don't go down, we go up. So we keep the same tone, but we make it lighter. And then, if you wish, you can create one more layer, or you can work on the same one. But I recommend to create one more layer for that. Like this, you'll have more control of what you're doing. So now, we will be placing highlights. So the fabric will look even more shiny. I would do it even lighter. For example, I want the majority of light to be from the right side. So the right side I can do slightly lighter than, than this side. So this side of the dress will be more highlighted. like this. And then you take the finger tool and you blend it in again. Like this now it does look like a fabric and does look like she is a real person with the real volume and if you for example like it you can keep it and combine with the layer down if you don't like it you can turn it off so you see now when you have them on separate layers you always have the option of choice I like how it looks so I will click merge down like this it becomes one layer so now the moment of truth we see the difference between without shadows and with shadows Oops. so the volume makes totally different effect on the body like this one understand okay there is the volume and it fits like this etc one more trick that I want you guys to know, so look carefully. You can also play with um, different combinations of colors or also effects. You can click on this uh, little button N and then you can play with the way your shadows will look on the dress. So if you will choose, for example, multiply, you see the now we see the flowers more clearly on the dress because when it was normal we kind of didn't see them under the shades so if you choose multiply it looks much more realistic let's see other effects so you see here it becomes even like a red in the areas where we place shadows
This one completely reversed the shadows. This one created something, <laughs> something totally different. So like this, it's one more option for you guys to use when you design something so that you can um, merge together the shadows or create a totally different effect of the texture and so on. So in comparison to the normal um, filter, I would prefer to use the multiply like this. The dress looks much more realistic and we don't see, um, we see the shadows and we see the details in the shadows much better. So that's how you do it. One more option. <laughs> If you want to play more with the style or with the texture, you can duplicate uh, not the layer of the um, shadows, but the layer of um, the texture itself. And here also you can click this button N and you can play with that one as well. And you see it change the dress completely. So it became black from gray. Now it looks even lighter. Wow, creates such a cool effect. This one became a completely black dress. <laughs> this one became white. So you see different kind of layers will create different kinds of effects. For example, I want to use this one. Um, you can either keep it like this or you can click on this uh, name of the filter again and then you can use the opacity. So under that you will see, if you will do zero opacity, you will see the previous layer that you were playing with. It is not going be it's not going to change if you will use just one layer but if there are two of them and then with the second one you play with the filter the effect will be much better and it's it will be actually visible that's why with zero opacity we see the previous layer of the dress and with a hundred percent opacity we see the new filter multiplied so you can either use a hundred percent or you can do a a little, you know, setting in terms of how, how transparent you want the top layer to be. For example, I want it to be like this, 52%. And this, we will merge down. So now we kind of glue together the two layers and it became one layer. Okay. So you see, this is the shadow on top and this is the outlines. So that's how we design something with the textures, okay? I hope it was useful. Do you have questions, guys? <laughs>